A very good morning and a warm welcome to today's celebration of the Holy Eucharist from Redemptorist Media Center. During this Holy Mass, we pray for the following intentions. We pray for the repose of the souls of A. Jnana Prakash, Albert Phillips, Anna Joaquina Tellis G. Gonz e. Gonzalves, Anthony Doss, Blanche Carvalho, Bruno Lean, C.A. Maria Raj and C.A. Arun Kumar, Kajitan de Sousa, Chris Rao, Christopher Symes, Crystal Frutal, Deacon Lloyd and Ramona Dice, Dominic A. Reddy, Dorothy Xavier, Eddie and Coney James, Elizabeth Sampath Kumar M., Esperanza Codros and Holy Souls in Purgatory, Eusebio, Felix de Sousa, Florence Harper, Florine Castellino, Forgotten Souls, Father Maria Pragasan, Franklin Paul Aruja, Gatru de Conceição, Harry Daniel Davis, Henry Corasso, J. Anthony and Teresa, Jacqueline de Rosario, Jayambal, Joe Gonzalez, Joyce Esther Federicks, Kanike Mary, Kanike Raj S., Lancelot Denise, Mary Margaret Mary Joy Kim, Flora Maria Dominic Savio, S. M. Ignatius and Chris Duraj, Melvin Rodriguez, Norman and Patricia Bennett, Paul Joseph Mundanda, Regan Joseph, Ronald Carter and Greenwell Carter, Ronald Lobo, Rosie Lazardo, Sampat so for the soul of Sampat, Sharon Concesao, Shirley Quadros, Holy a Soul of Amnur Pava Mary, Souls of the Woodward and Northern families, Sudarshan, Teresa Menezes, Thomas Munkadil, Maria Kutti Thomas, and Tankama George. Thomas Selva Prakash, Arul Das Harry, Melrose Mary and Vincent Paul, Valerian Rebello, Vasanta Martin, Virginia Jairaj, Day Remembrance of Third Day Remembrance of Chris Rao, Man's Mind of Franklin Shubas Costa Kostka, Rita Fortieth Day Remembrance of Rita Shane. But the remembrance of Z. Chelia, Bella Fernandez, Bernadine Richard, Ethel Genevieve Luca, Trevor Mota, and Trevor Mota, death anniversary of Mary Stella, Lynette Carter, Mary Prakash, Lourdes Pereira. Ansi Lewis, Amal P. Ryan, Tom K. George, Kanika Mary. We also offer this Mass as thanksgiving for the following intentions. On the birthdays of Emilia Ambrose, Ekanch Chowdhury, Francis Stephen, Teresa De Silva, K. A. Gracie, Angela Maria Paulson, Anthony Rosario, Cecilia Nirmala, the Most Holy and Blessed Trinity from Salat Mary, Ria Anne Pradeep, Vanessa Belcher Painter, Vinita Austin. On the wedding anniversaries of Benno Raj and Nimi Raj, on the Silver Jubilee celebration, Prema and Joseph Raj on the 44th wedding anniversary, Sujit, John and Sneha Sujit. We also offer this for the following special favours received by the following. For the intentions of Infant Jesus, to Infant Jesus by Peter and Serena Nazareth, Mother of Perpetual Help by Elizabeth Shanta Kumari, <laughs> Jeffrey Rogers and family, Usha Prem and family, uh, for uh, for the first anniversary of their ho starting a home kitchen of uh, um, Yummy in My Tummy team, YMT. Then special favors received by uh, Rose Martins. For recovery of Wilfrey Pius 
and uh, for successful surgery and returning home safe offered by Martin and family and for the intentions of Ash Ashton and Preeti Muller, Dr. Candice Braganza, G. Harry, Mike Xavier, Nadine Ria, Roshni and Rahul, Wanda, Yvette and Daryl Paul. For the intentions of Carrie and Marina Thomas, Dominic Richard family, Dorothy, Sheila Arun, Felsi and Glenn and Anisha, Lieutenant Colonel Arlene Dohati, Mary Josephine Simon, Sean and Grace, Sunil Dominic and family, and Rosalind Nathan, and for the favors received by Sam. We also offer this mass for the following special intentions. For early beatification of Mother Anne Hubert of Helpers of Mary Mumbai by Jimmy, Stella and family. For good health of Supreet. For um, happiness of Varel Rositor and family by Supreet and family. Good health of Judy Mendes. Good health of Lawrence and Priscilla Fernandez. Uh, good health of our mother, Virginia Phillips. For job and good health for children, Christina Sharmila. For good health and peace and protection for by George Pulatvatukal. Well-being of Clint and Andrea. For job satisfaction and uh, to be settled in life for Glory, Kamal and family. Justice from KPSC and suitable employment. Recovery from COVID for Maria Malini and, Malini and uh, Maria Nikita. For speedy recovery, for Shanti, for uh, Andrea's foot, for Frank Rodriguez, for um, dialysis of uh, Alvin Coelho, for uh, Suresh Dungdung, healing for Yannick, Ashton Muller, Lieutenant Colonel Arlene Dohati, and for the intentions of Vicky Pereira and Crystal Anbu. With these intentions and with our own, let us now prayfully participate in this Holy Eucharist. Here in this place, new light is streaming, now is the darkness vanished away. In this space, our fears and our dreamings brought you to you in the light of this day. Gather us in the lost and forsaken. Gather us in the blind and the lame. Call to us now and we shall awaken. We shall arise at the sound of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. All the readings of today's Mass remind us of the need to be vigilant against false prophets and the good prophets who are genuine who want to proclaim God's message, they too have to be vigilant so that they are not discouraged, they are not vanished, but may continue to proclaim God's message and only God's message. It is no doubt a challenge, a challenge that every good prophet of God has to accept. Let us pray today during this Mass that we may have that willingness, that courage to proclaim God's message in a genuine and courageous manner so that this world may live according to God's message. For our failures to do this, 
for our unwillingness to listen to God's message, let us ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess, I confess to, Almighty to Almighty God and, and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. No. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the prophet Ezekiel. In those days, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet, and I heard him speaking to me. And he said to me, Son of man, I send you to the people of Israel, to nations of rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me to this very day. The descendants also are impudent and stubborn. I send you to them, and you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, and whether they hear or refuse to hear, for they are a rebellious house, they will know that a prophet 
has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm will be, Our eyes are on the Lord our God till he show us his mercy. Our eyes are on the Lord our God till he show us his mercy. To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens. Behold, like the eyes of slaves on the hand of their lords. Our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Like the eyes of a servant on the hand of her mistress, so our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. Indeed, all too full is our soul with the scorn of the arrogant, the disdain of the proud. Our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with the weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities, for when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel acclamation. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these things? What is the wisdom given to him? How are such mighty works done by his hands? 
Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own hometown and among his relatives and in his own household. And Jesus could, no, Jesus could do no mighty work there except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. And Jesus marveled because of their unbelief. And he went about among the villages teaching the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we look around the world, every day, any moment, we can see God's amazing grace at work everywhere, in many ways. Even the unbelievers, the atheists, can see that. But how easily we lose sight of the bigger picture of God, who God is. We judge everything from our limited perspective, just as the people of Nazareth in the time of Jesus. We are so short-sighted about God's creation, about others, about ourselves. In fact, the annals of human history is replete with case after case of good people being rejected by those who really know them. Take for example Ludwig Beethoven who lived in the early part of the 19th century, a German composer, well-known and even today. But when he was young, he refused to play the music or the compositions of great composers. He wanted his own compositions and his teachers remarked that his compositions were of not any standard. Again, another German scientist who died in the middle of last century, Albert Einstein, he could not speak until the age of four. And he was unable to read at the age, uh, until the age of nine. And what did his teachers say in the school? They said that he was mentally slow and could not cope with the other students in the class. So the parents must take the child back and do whatever they want to do. The rest is all history. We know how his mother trained him to be a great scientist. Thomas Edison, an American scientist who died in the early last century. He too was unwanted and rejected by his teachers. Archbishop Fulton Sheen, a great American Catholic bishop, a great preacher in TV and radio. During a college debate, they judged 
that Fulton Sheen was not a good speaker at all. And one judge remarked that this is the worst speaker I have ever seen. G.K. Chesterton, a British writer, philosopher, and a lay theologian. He could not read until the age of eight. And his teacher, what did he say? He was so furious with his slow learning that he said, if his head were to be split to see what is inside, they would find a lump instead of brain. This is the way the history has been judging not only these people, but several others. But they all proved to be great people, brilliant people, effective in their job. In spite of all the good that Jesus did, they were unwilling to believe in his power. And we see that even today. We have seen it in the Old Testament, many personalities doing this. Abraham pleaded with God that even if there is a small number, would God spare Sodom from destruction? In other words, and God said yes, because even if there are a few people, believing people, who manifest or exhibit their faith in their day-to-day -day living, who depend on God and God alone, God will be merciful and they can intercede for, uh, from God, that they, God be merciful to the entire humanity. During this uh, corona season, many were mocking at the faith healers or retreat centers asking, where are these people who are churning out miracles after miracles? Why can't they do something now? Well, these are people who can be identified with the people of Jesus' time. Because they were more worried about the background of the person who is doing the miracles rather than the power of God behind them working so forcefully, so wonderfully in the lives of human people. Rejection of good prophets is inevitable. As we have seen in the first reading, with regard to prophet Ezekiel. God warned him that he will face rejection and persecution. Not that there weren't lots of prophets. There were. But they were speaking what the people wanted to hear. But the good prophets of Yahweh will speak what Yahweh wants to make the people hear. We have the example of Father Stan Sami, who is being persecuted and put in jail for no reason at all. Because there is a reason. Because he was speaking for the people of God. He was fighting against the injustices meted out to the people of God. And as Yahweh had warned Ezekiel, this prophet is also and many others, thousands of people who speak for God's people, who fight for justice, are put to suffer and are persecuted. People of Israel were in exile in Babylon, going through slavery, persecution, starvation, but still they refused to believe God's message. God's prophet. St. Paul in the second reading is also sharing his experience of having to go through suffering 
and he says, I have a thorn in my flesh. Mercifully, he doesn't specify what that thorn is. It could have been a, suff a bodily suffering, a sickness, or maybe some people persecuting him, anything. But persecution is inevitable to a prophet. And he says, for me, that was not my concern because I pleaded with the Lord several times and the Lord gave me this assurance that my grace is sufficient for you. And Paul did wonderful things with the grace of Christ for whom who gave his life. In our lives, we are called to be the chosen prophets of God. Maybe as parents, teachers, religious leaders, or, we, or even as friends. We are called to guide people. We are called not to just propagate what is the fad or what is the trend today, but to teach something that is in accordance with God's message. That is a challenge. Because not many are going to accept God's message. It's easy to flow with the current. As G.K. Chesterton said, the dead bodies flow along the current. But the living persons will always swim against the current. We can be dead. We can be, we can be living a life of a dead, dead person. But not a living person. A living person will not go in accordance with world's values, but along with the values of the gospel. That is the challenge. And we cannot do it by ourselves. As the psalmist today said, he was pleading with God to be merciful uh, towards him and to give the courage to live life full. Let us pray today during this Mass that the Jesus who himself was rejected by his own people, may give us the strength, the courage to live up to the gospel values. Amen. Let's all proclaim our Christian faith. I believe, I believe in one God, God the, Father the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all, all things, things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into heaven, heaven and is seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. Father. He will we'll come, come again in glory to judge, to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, Lord, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from, from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic life. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are called to imitate the Lord who came to us in the flesh. 
in his attention to listen to the father's voice and to respond to the voice by laying down his life for those rejected by society and family. Let us therefore call on the Heavenly Father through his Son Jesus and present our petitions. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our Pope, bishops, priests, to whom is entrusted the care of the people of God, that God may strengthen them in their ministry to fulfill their obligation diligently and with much love and care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our country and for the leaders who govern them, that the Lord may fill them with discernment and foresight to govern the people and work towards the growth of the country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and the suffering, that the Lord may touch their lives and heal them. May the Lord give them the courage to move forward and console them in time of their distress, so that healed by His mercy, they may once again engage in the service of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We pray for our young people that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit in choosing their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. As we receive the precious body and blood of Christ, May we be transformed to commit ourselves to work for the welfare of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal needs. God, our Heavenly Father, we place all our petitions at your feet with the faith and confidence. We pray that you may mercifully grant them all for our good, according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of mine and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body... We not only experience the day, daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For 
having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and the glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Peter our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the people whom you have gathered here. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you in their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. With great confidence and trust in the Heavenly Father, let us call upon Him using the very words that Jesus prayed. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer that peace to one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things 
and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer for the end of the pandemic. Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you asking for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray that as medicines and vaccines to combat the sickness are being found and administered, they may be safely, effectively, and equitably distributed to the most vulnerable populations all over the world. We pray for all governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, thank you for joining us in celebrating this Holy Eucharist this morning. Today, the 4th of July is a special day for those who are in the U.S. Here's a fun fact for you. Um, the Redemptorist Media Center is situated here in, in India. Bangalore, 75% according to our statistics are viewers within India. And guess which is the second country where most of our viewers are situated? It's in the U.S. And then we have a good number in other countries like UAE, um, Australia, New Zealand, 
and uh, some in, in the European countries. So for all our viewers who are in, in, the, in the US, wish you a very happy Independence Day. Who's who in the Bible? Praying with Biblical Characters will continue for this week as well. So do join us at every evening at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, from Monday through Friday. And uh, on Saturday, we will have the Holy Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help at 6 p.m. Do send in your petitions and thanksgivings by Friday so that we'll have it all ready for the day of the Novena. And Rosary with the Redemptress will continue as well at 7 p.m. So it is a time when you could come together as a family praying the Holy Rosary with us Redemptress and praying for um, our needs and placing before our Lord through the intercession of Mary, our mother, the petitions of the world and for each one of us as well. There's an announcement from Worldwide Marriage Encounter Movement. Um, the Worldwide Marriage Encounter India program for uh, for the youth, for the, for young couples, as you know that we have an anniversary mass every month on the third Monday, uh, celebrating uh, the wedding anniversaries of those couples who celebrate the wedding anniversaries for that month, and um, uh, which is a, a wonderful moment within the church where they enable couples to come together on a marriage encounter weekend. Um, uh, uh, but due to the pandemic, when they are unable to come together, there's this wonderful online program that has been offered. Uh, the first session, that is 1A and 1B, of Me to We, that, that's how they title it, program on the way we are, conduct, was conducted on June 21st. And it met with great uh, response and encouraging success. So uh, they are now excited to announce the second session, which is titled Listening to You, to be held on 18th July 2021. So the requirements for recruit uh, to be part of this session is um, a couple who have not been part of ME already or who have made the, your ME encounter, marriage encounter weekend. Uh, the secondly, um, only couples married between 2 to 15 years. So young couples are welcome to be part of this. To register, please uh, contact uh, the details on the poster that is on the screen right now. You may be able to um, register uh, through that email or WhatsApp number and they'll let you know the details. Uh, it's a fantastic program for young couples to make use of it. Dear friends, in the midst of this pandemic, all of us have been affected and yet silently and out of the limelight, um, our doctors, nurses and other medical workers and volunteers have been saving lives. But they are also human beings and they need to be encouraged and strengthened in the battle against the deadly coronavirus. That's why we Redemptorists wish to accompany our brothers and sisters in the medical profession with the help of the Word of God. For this purpose, we have started a series of inspirational videos for them called Redeeming Healers. The introduction of the series is already up. Uh, it was a well put out uh, video by Father Sandeep Menezes. Uh, you might have already watched it. If you haven't, uh, it'll, the link will be in the description. You're welcome to watch the introduction of it. Um, this evening at 7 p.m. we have the first episode uh, presented by Reverend Father Juventus Sandade. It's titled Becoming Good Samaritans. So do join us. Uh, it's for doctors and medical professionals. But again, there is a message for all of us. So you're welcome to join us at 7 p.m. this evening for the premiering of Becoming Good Samaritan. Dear friends, do join me on the 16th of uh, July um, at 7 p.m. to watch the documentary film, Who's My Neighbor?, uh, which will premiere at seven uh, at eight uh, p.m. after the Holy Rosary, and uh, it will be available for the weekend. And we will have a question and answer session on the eighteenth at uh, seven p.m. So um, uh, the trailer is on on our YouTube channel. If you have not watched it, you're welcome to do so. A word of gratitude and thanks to all of you who are part of our um, ministry here. 
it's very encouraging at times when people time and again you know um, are not inhibited to to share how they feel about uh, and how uh, they find our services helpful and also sometimes very helpful suggestions through which we are able to make the adaptations that we need to so thank you for all your suggestions your um, your prayers your encouragement and many of you who have especially during this pandemic still have been very generous to us thank you for all your contributions god bless you have a wonderful sunday The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh, Lord.